Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is a video editorial for the problem subtree queries uh, taken from tree algorithm CSES. Uh, the problem we can solve using uh, segment tree. Uh, in fact, the problem will be uh, the implementation I will be providing using segment tree. You can use uh, Fenwick tree or uh, binary index tree as well. Depends on the implementation, you can implement it yourself. So uh, the problem statement is you are given a tree which is rooted at node 1 and each node is having certain integer value. Okay, uh, there are two types of queries. First, In first query you have to change the value of a node and in second query you have to print the sum of values of all nodes inside a subtree of a given node. Okay, for example for in the second query you will be given a node and you have to print the sum of values of all integers uh, of all nodes in the subtree of node S. Okay, so this is the problem statement. Uh, for this prerequisite is lecture 10 and 11 of queries on tree lecture okay our uh, queries on tree uh, series so i have already explained how we will solve this problem theoretically now in this lecture i am going to explain you uh, uh, practically okay the implementation wise okay so here, here it is the problem uh, sub tree queries i'll be providing the link in the description of the video and also the solution link okay so how we will solving this of course we will be using uh, segmentary right so n can be as large as 2 into 10 to the power 5 so uh, this is vector of integer to store the tree okay and then since each node is having certain uh, each node is having certain value so this is to store that value and after uh, since we will be applying all a store after that we will be building a separate array and we'll be building a uh, segmentary on that so this is the input for each node this will store value of each node right and this is the reordering of values right this will store the reordering uh, reordering and on which we will be building the segmentary all of this i have already explained in the uh, lecture 11 of queries queries on tree course this segmentary okay this is to store subtree size of each node this is to store in time uh, of each node and there's the timer see first of all what we are doing in the main function we are reading n and q number of queries and number of nodes then reading value of each node after that we are building the tree after that we are making dfs called and and then we are building segmentary segmentary build function is almost the same we have already learned that i mean we already know how it is it, it will only store the uh, sum of values in a given range so nothing special here so here you can see we are using ar array we are reading the value in temporary array but we are using ar array to work on segmentary right how dfs work dfs has in this case it will calculate the subtree size it will calculate the in time and also it will calculate uh, it will store uh, the rearrange basically the values of uh, nodes based on euler store technique basically tree flattening so subtree size we are here here you can see we are calculating subtree size of each node right and also uh, timer is initialized to zero and uh, in time of each node is being calculated here and if the in time of current node is one so at index one we should have value of current node right and that is exactly what is happening here this is basically a euler tour technique so this is how dfs is working it is calculating substitute size it is calculating for each node the in time in time basically will tell you for each node from where its subtree will start in the uh, in in euler tour technique uh, after you apply all to a technique you have a simple array right and in that array uh, in time will tell you from where this node starts subtree of this node starts right and subtree size will help you uh, calculate the sub array uh, which stores the subtree of a given node right we have already discussed all of this so this is how your uh, dfs function is working this is the build function for segmentary nothing special here we already know uh, segmentary if we, if you don't know you i uh, already have a course on that you can go ahead and learn that uh, after that update what uh, what is the query query is oh sorry query is uh, let me just okay query is to change the value of node s to x right so what will happen if this is basically uh at i'm simply adding the uh, the change into that index which needs to be changed so for node a change its value node for node a change its value to b so what i'm doing uh for node a the index would be in time of a right and then uh, the change is pre, uh, b minus previous value of current node right and that is exactly what i'm sending and this will be added to the index in the segmentary for this node and then it will be changed so this is simple segmentary update 
after that for this node the value has changed so that's why in the array ar uh, this value of this node is stored at index in time of a right and that is exactly what we are doing here we are updating we are changing in array ar as well so that next time when we are going to uh, add the change uh, we know the exact value we are the value we are accessing is actually updated that's why you need to change this as well so this is how your update is happening for some you all you have to do is print the range sum and from where to where we have already seen in the lecture 11 this is from starting from in time of a to in time of a plus subtree size of a minus one right and that's how this whole code works so i'll be providing the code in the description of the video you can go through this code or uh, it will be better if you apply it yourself if you still have some doubt or uh, you can ask in the comment section so yeah this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and until then actually drops keep coding thank you